Okay, so we are making a St. Patrick's Day treat mm -hmm. that is also very healthy. Yeah, we've got uh, our guests here, registered licensed dietitians yeah. Heather Swords and Stephanie Clevenger from Southern Ohio Medical Center. Yeah. Thank Thanks you all. In. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. Okay, we can always use a little green in uh, our diet, mm -hmm. and uh, you've got some here. And we're also, we love treats. So what did you bring? <laughs> What we have, have a uh, strawberry uh, spinach smoothie that mm -hmm. we're going to make. Or have you guys really help oh, us yeah. make it? <laughs> okay, put us to work here. Yeah, so okay. what do we do first? What's okay. this? Okay, let's start with the spinach. Just okay. put two generous handfuls of spinach okay. in there. Okay. And I'll grab one. You too. grab a handful. Does it matter if the stems are nope, on it? No, nope. it's fine. It'll blend right up. up. Yeah. Okay, stems included. Okay. Oh, wow, oh, wow. that is, wow, they look that is very this generous. This is going to be a nice green smoothie. I wanted to make sure to make it green. Yeah, very fast. That's also. true. Okay, we'll go in with some skim milk next. Okay. You guys want, want me to put that in there? You, you go ahead. You can do yeah, that one. Right. Dump that right in okay. there. Okay. There okay, and then we have some Greek yogurt. And I guess you oh. could use water too, skim milk or water, uh, it, it, either one, but the skim milk's going to give it a little more taste. Right, yeah, that it'll give it more taste mm -hmm. and maybe there's some, some protein in there. Yeah, yeah. You're getting mm -hmm. some protein in there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, some good bone strengthening dairy. Okay. okay. Okay, we have a tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Oh. Okay. And talk about the importance of flaxseed for the diet and for the gut. Flaxseed um, has fiber as well as some healthy fats in it, so okay. it's, it's really well-rounded thing to have in your smoothie. And it's not going to make anything, it's not going to really change the taste at all. No, no you can't even yeah. tell it's in there. Whatever yeah. you add it to, it just, it blends yeah. right in. And, and we've got some strawberries we just added in too. Mm -hmm. Frozen. Yep. A little Frozen. banana. Have okay. a half of banana. And throw that so one in. The, ba the, the fruit, I guess, you, if you can make this at home, and you don't. You can switch up the fruit. You could use blueberries. You could mm -hmm. use blackberries. You yes. could, the bottom line is, you can use the frozen because you don't have to worry about. Oh well, you know, I like the fresh fruit because it's all going to get ground up as part of the mm -hmm. shake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What's okay. next? Our final ingredient is avocado. Oh, Ooh, quarter okay. of an avocado. Or green. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Perfect for today. Scoop that little baby yes. right out of there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get every little bit. And all right. Now what? And now we're ready to blend it up. Okay, there we go. Mix it up. All right. Put the ninja to work. <laughs> How long do you all usually blend when you're doing one? Just kind of eyeball it and make sure that everything's blended up well, and you okay. kind of have to knock it down with a spatula too. Okay. okay. I'll move this out of your way. There we go. And it's going to be thick too because you don't have a lot of liquid. That's, I guess, part of the whole thing. Yes. Uh huh. Make it <laughs> yep, let me knock some of this down here. Okay. Yeah, and and that's it up the whole idea. Have to keep 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 working at it. Mm -hmm. It's yep. not going to necessarily go the first time. <laughs> and if somebody wanted to add a little more uh, in the way of liquid to it, could they do that? Or absolutely, yeah. it's all yep. it's all a matter of you taste. Can all make about it, preference. Uh -huh. You okay. can make it as thin or as thick as you would that's like. True. Mm -hmm. Some people may want. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the good thing about it is it's healthy. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. It has so many vitamins and minerals, yeah. antioxidants, fiber, protein. Yeah. It has all, all kinds of nutrients. Also brought some uh, Tabasco sauce to add. No, to no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we that know that's might not, not be very good. No, I don't think that would be as good. Yeah. Talk about, you know, because we can buy, you know, smoothies that are already. It's pretty much a smoothie or a milkshake that might say that claim it's a little bit healthy. Why is it important to make your own? You have control of the ingredients that mm -hmm. you put in there and yeah. and how much. So yeah, um, and yeah. There's also this too. Yeah. Money. Lots yes, you can money. save cause money because you, you have all of these. these. Yeah, you have all of these ingredients, and yeah. you can make many smoothies. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and you get one of, of these. And, and also, it can melt over time then a little bit. So if, it's, mm -hmm. if you, you drink it, you know, over mm -hmm. the course of 10, 15 minutes, right. it's going gonna, it's gonna to lose the thickness a bit more and be a little easier to drink. Uh-huh. Mm. Now, if uh, those oh, yeah, who good. are watching right now want 
more recipe ideas like this or you know to talk to you all about how to start cooking healthier at home do you all have information that you all typically have on a website or how does that work That's yeah, as far as a website goes uh, SOMC does have a talk to a dietitian link mm -hmm. and we both see outpatients so mm -hmm. we can set someone up with an appointment for that mm -hmm. if they wanted some individualized help um, other websites could be like myplate.gov mm -hmm. they actually have a tab that's called my plate kitchen and you can go in there and select what kitchen gadgets you have mm -hmm. what food items you have on hand what meal you want to make all kinds of selections and then it dials in what you can make what recipes you can make with what a great yeah. idea you can even narrow it down if you just need an entree if mm -hmm. you're just looking for a dessert yep. I mean it's a it's a really great resource that's excellent and mm -hmm. so is this by the way I know. you know that's the thing it, 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 happy St. Patrick's Day it, you may look at it and I always make fun of the ones my wife makes at home I'm like oh you're drinking your sludge uh, yeah I call it sludge at home but it tastes it so does. good yeah it, you know it may not look the most appetizing but it is mm. phenomenal it's sweet it, it gets is. all that fruit flavor mm -hmm. you can taste the fruit yeah I don't really taste the spinach so this would be perfect for kids yes mm -hmm. if you have kids and you're trying to get more oh, yeah. veggies into them you know Absolutely. Yeah, our granddaughter loves it. I showed mm -hmm. you the proof. With yes. The, yeah. With the, the sludge mustache that Very she's wearing cute. right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Good thanks for again. all ages. Stephanie, yeah. Heather, thank yes. you so this much. This was delicious. Thank you. Great job. Yes. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day yes. or any day of the year. Absolutely. Right. Exactly yep. right. Yeah. Thank you all.